Hey family, walk one, walk one, walk one. So in today's video, I'll be walking you through the process of shipping a barrel from the United States to Kingston, Jamaica. I'll be shipping a barrel from Florida and it gets to Kingston. It's my first time doing it. Um, so I'm going to do the process of shipping from here and then the process of clearing it in Jamaica. I've been going through the process of trying to find the best route, the best method and the most affordable one to use. So I'll definitely show you. I just came and I bought the barrel to ship. It costed me $49.21 for the barrel itself. I got it at that supermarket around there. It's called Bravo Supermarket here in Fort Lauderdale. So just keep coming with me and I'll take you on the journey and show you, teach you so that you know how to do it as well. Alright, let's go. So this is where they store the barrels inside this supermarket and I was so happy that this guy volunteered to take the barrel to the car for me. I was even happier that the barrel actually fit inside the back of a sedan car because that was a major concern for me and it fits so I'm happy I'm a bingo. At this point it's time to ride off in the sunset with my new barrel. <laughs> So guys, I'm packing the barrel. I've never done this before. I've seen it done once though when I was in New York, but I've actually never done it myself before. So I'm gonna try a thing. I don't know if I got work up, but I think it I think we can do it. Alright, so just come pack with me. So this is after about two hours of packing and let me just say that packing a barrel is very hard so hats off to those that do it very often because i don't think i'll be doing it by myself again <laughs> it's very hard but now this is us trying to get it to close because after you pack it and you have to stuff it and get it closed is a whole nother ball game so <laughs> i don't know we had to stuff step on it stamp on it everything i even had to call in extra help to get it to close so it was not just me now it was me plus daniel and daniel's mom so it's three of us to close the one barrel you know but jaja we're done so i'm good now time to go and ship it off <laughs> finally finished jesus this was hard i don't know if i do this again i mean just to pack the barrel it definitely requires a professional packer it was very challenging thankfully it's finished and it's locked so heading to go and drop off the barrel now and Danielle is a superwoman Zin and so am I because we just both of us just wheeled the thing in the car and lift it and it was very heavy but we got it done so we're gonna go and drop it off now Whew. Guys, so I just reached the shipping company and the one I'm using today is called Dennis Shipping. I'm going to give you some more information about it a little later on, but we're going to go inside now. So let's go. Thank you. 
inside the warehouse just you know drop off the barrel i got a gentleman to assist me in taking the barrel inside and out of the car so that's good and then now he weighed the barrel and gave me a form which i'm gonna take inside now to do the payment now he told me that the weight that they weight is not for the cost or anything but the weight is just so that they have an idea of you know how the weight of things that are going on the ship because it is going to be shipped as you know this can go on plane so that's that this is what the warehouse looks like and now i'm going inside the office so this is interesting to me my very first time and i'm now going back on the inside with the paper and we'll see how it goes they did tell me that it's 50 dollars so let's see if it's still 50 dollars so while i'm on the outside waiting i can't go inside it i was told that they're closed for 10 minutes to do cleaning so standing outside waiting for the cleaning to finish Hello. and then inside we go hi <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Rochelle, R O C H E L L E. Is it first time here? Yes. Welcome to Dennis. Thank you. You know my last name as well? What's the last name? When does it ship? When does the ship actually leave? We ship on Fridays. On Fridays, okay. And the expected time to arrive on we ship on Fridays is the following Monday. Oh, okay. So ship Friday. And it arrives Monday. Okay, and then how soon after? Because they can clear. It's not busy. The port is not busy and the container is stripped Monday. Mm -hmm. They'll start calling persons. So it's stripped Tuesday, they'll start calling persons. Okay. And it goes to where exactly? It goes to Kingston Wards. Great. The blue pop will take it back to the warehouse and the envelope is yours. Okay, so I will get a call. And is there a way I can check online for the process progress? Well, you know, call by Tuesday mm -hmm. or Wednesday, you can give us a call back here. Okay. okay. Alright, it's King Sunwars. That's great. So I need to put this on the thing? On no, the bar? Take that to the warehouse and give it to the gentleman. Give it to the gentleman. Everything. Alright, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Did I get the receipt for payment? Awesome. Alright, have a good one. Finished. And I just got a paper that I'm gonna take back to the warehouse and I paid fifty dollars so it was the same as what they told me on the phone. And as you heard the ship leaves on Friday and then it arrives by Monday. So I should get a call by next Monday and today is Saturday and they open every day seven days a week. So. Alright, so I'm done and a fairly simple process honestly because I was expecting a little bit more. I wasn't expecting it to be so simple. So let me give a rundown again. Basically what I did is come to Denny's shipping. I went on the inside spoke to the lady and she told me to just take the barrel to the warehouse after taking it to the warehouse then i will i received a paper which i took on the inside paid for it gave my information address and all of that and the information they received was like who is sending who is receiving the address of the person are sending the address of the person that's receiving um and then she charge $50 and of course I'm sending so it's my name and address here and I'm receiving my name and address in Jamaica and I also got the opportunity to put an address for someone else just in case I'm not able to collect it you know the whole global situation that I may not be able to go but I also put my mom's name so she can collect it on my behalf um, so yeah so after paying and getting that information and then bringing the receipt to the gentleman in the warehouse and he <laughs> took it put on a seal on the barrel and then that's it and i'm done and i'm happy and that's it guys simple so of course i'm going to be doing another video showing you when i actually go to receive the package in jamaica to explain to you the cost 
to explain to you the process so that you know if you are sending to yourself in Jamaica you know you understand and if you're sending to a family member or someone in Jamaica you'll also understand so I'll document that process but for now um, so basically I spent $50 on purchasing the barrel and $50 to send the barrel no let me just say that I had the option for them to pick it up right and they told me that if they picked it up it would have been $25 and then shipping would have costed $70 which means that if they pick it up I would have paid a total of $95 but if I drop it off I pay $50 no I wanted to keep the cost as low as possible so I dropped it off so I only spent $100 total so far $50 to send it and fifty dollars to purchase the barrel. So, and then we'll see how much we pay in Jamaica. I'm told that it's six thousand Jamaican now. So let's see if it's consistent with that. And you know, it's not sponsored by the company, but I highly recommend so far based on the service that I received because I did call another company, and the service I got over the phone was horrible. They lost my business because of her horrible service, and I'm sure there are others that you know she also lost so that's basically it i'm going to be documenting the receiving part of it so thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something um i hope you found this interesting informative and of course the objective is always to entertain and educate thank you so much for watching guys remember to like comment leave a comment below let me know if you've ever done this before and if it's something that you'd ever do um subscribe let's grow the family in and just press the thumbs up one all right so i'll see you in the next one Bye.